In an earlier lecture, we had developed the equations for the dynamics of the height of a water column in a tank. Uh, here we have the water column, which is the height. So h dot equal to qi minus rho g h to the power of 1 divided by alpha divided by rho r divided by a. Um, alpha is a parameter that is equal to 1 for laminar flow, equal to 2 for um, uh, turbulent flow. When alpha is not equal to 1, this, is, this equation is a nonlinear dynamic equation. And in this lecture, what we'll try to do is simulate this uh, in Simulink. Just as we did before, uh, we draw this equation graphically. So we start off with h dot, integrate it once, get h. And that's it, we don't have h double dot. This is the first order equation. You feed h into this block right here. That generates for you this. Now you need to subtract it from qi, which is the input, and scale it by 1 divided by a. That's what we do. Subtract it from qi, scale it by 1 divided by a, and that equal to h dot. Now we'll try and input this into Simulink. Where we have, I already started Simulink here. Now let me go ahead and start a new model. and uh, look at continuous systems bring the integrator in you have h coming h dot coming in here integrated once h comes out you need to feed that into this nonlinear block and for that we'll use user defined functions defining a function flip it around and connect the output of this to the input of this let's see and let's open this one up so we can put in a function here, here the input is named u so h equal to u so we'll, let's write down the equation which is rho times g times u to the power of 1 divided by alpha the whole thing divided by rho times r which is the resistance of the orifice now we need a summation block and need to make that minus feed the output of this into there the input is going to come in here we need to scale it therefore we need again and put the gain in here 1 divided by a Let's see. Now I'm trying to do something interesting here with this model. So I'm going to give it a input that is the summation of a sine wave and a step. So let me start with sources. I need a sine wave. I also need a step. And then I need to sum these up. The output of this summation goes into this junction. And there I sum these two. So let the amplitude of the sine wave be 1. I'll change the frequency to 0.1 radian per second. This is step input as 1. That's fine. Let me go ahead and change some simulation param. Before that, I need to put a sync as my scope to view my results. Um, since I want to do like watch both the input and output, let me put a bus there, just like I did before in a previous lecture. And then let's see, that's the output, and I read the input from here right 
let me go ahead and change some simulation parameters uh, first of all I need the thing to run for a long time let's make it run for a thousand time steps and also I need fixed time steps instead of variable and let me do collect data for 0.5 seconds as well all right now I believe I have defined all the parameters yes I do so a is 100 r is 0.2 alpha is 2 g is 9.8 and rho is a thousand these are all si units so let's run this simulation and let's look at the graph there you have it so this is the input and this is how the water column grows over time looks like it stabilizes around three meters let's uh, try something else let me change the initial state so this is the first order equation you need to have at least one initial condition so if you click the integrator block you get the initial condition have set it to zero that means initially you have zero height so let me say let me start off at five meter water column and then see what happens Ah, there again let's look at that looks like the water column keeps on decreasing what about if I start with a 20 meter water column and then run it again can't see it but it seems to fall seems to follow pretty fast which is kind of expected now that's the end of our lecture.